Hi, I'm Christy Lee Wilson. I am a personal trainer and performance enhancement specialist. You can visit my website at www.christywilson.com. Today we're going to talk about the major differences between static and dynamic stretching. So static stretching is probably one of the most common forms of stretching. It requires holding a specific stretch for an extended period of time, usually about 20 to 30 seconds. Now when you're stretching, the no pain, no gain does not apply. It's going to be uncomfortable, but you don't want to feel any sharp pains. So a static stretch, you always want to make sure you're warmed up. It's best to do after a workout when your muscles are warm. So for example, the, hamstr the seated hamstring stretch is a great static stretch. You're going to sit up, make sure the back is flat, and just reach forward as far as you can. Now you want to hold this position. After a little while, you'll probably feel the muscle relax. So then just move very gently further into the stretch. Again, when you feel the muscle relax, move a little bit further into the stretch until you get to that 30 second period. Relax, and then you want to repeat that three to four times. So dynamic stretching refers to moving a muscle throughout its full range of motion around a joint. Usually dynamic stretching is performed as a warm up or before a workout. Again, you want to make sure the muscles are warm. An example of a dynamic stretch is just a forward lunge. You want to make sure it's nice and controlled. Step forward into that lunge position. Here I'm dynamically stretching the hip flexor and the back thigh. Press up and you can continue doing about eight to 10 repetitions. Make sure you do both legs and that is an example of a dynamic stretch. I'm Christy Lee Wilson. We just spoke about the major differences between static and dynamic stretching.